everything relates. How I approach jujitsu is the same way that I approach surgery is the same way I approach family. Anytime you're in a stressful situation, martial arts trains you to accept being uncomfortable. We know we have a common hobby, right? Hobby. It's how we met. It's like a life more. It's not a it's, thing. It's it has a little life. bit of a lifestyle to it. So let's speak to how you find balance with like such a big job and mm-hmm. such a big other lifestyle thing. Yeah. And oh, by the way, don't let's not forget that we have a, a life at home with a with some with three people that are extremely yeah I'm, I'm, um, absolutely extremely reliant no, I mean, on you balance right? is probably one of the hardest things to do right yeah balance in your professional life balance in the the things in your life that bring you your family obviously is is your 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 anchor your cornerstone that keeps you grounded but then you also have something too that's your personal fulfillment so for me there's like those three things right you train martial arts for a long time and it's hard to describe but there's something about martial arts that really culminates really collectively and and almost um, kind of encompasses and really makes the, everything else in your life makes sense Mm -hmm. that, you know, if if you're understanding. So um, I, I've done different martial arts throughout my, my life. And, you know, we do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu together and there's something about just the, 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 um, the mental challenges in addition to the physical challenge that, Everything relates. How I approach jujitsu is the same way that I approach surgery is the same way I approach family. Um, and it's kind of hard to describe unless you do it right. Um, you know, anytime you're in a stressful situation, martial arts trains you, you jujitsu, it trains you to accept being uncomfortable, accept that challenge, accept that it's got not going to be a, you know, it's going to be a win situation. Actually, most time it's going to be a no win situation. You know, you're probably going to lose very badly but you put things in perspective and you learn about it and you make yourself better and you're constantly trying to push and push and push to do better. It's almost an unattainable goal, but you're always pushing yourself to do better. You know, get that next level, get that next peak. Surgery the same way. I don't feel like I'm a seasoned surgeon and I'm the best at what I do. No, I think I can do better. Mm -hmm. I, you know, just like after we roll, I'm talking to you about it. You know what? I, I should have grabbed your pan leg there. I should have put a hook in. I should have swept you. Same thing with surgery. Now, that was a little bit of a challenging case. What if I would have done this? What if I would have put my hands here? What if I would have attracted here? Um, I'm constantly pushing myself. And, you know, especially working with residents, I push myself even more because, again, I want, not only do I want to be a, you know, a, a great surgeon, I also want to be a great teacher. And so, you know, not only do I feel like I have, I'm constantly trying to refine my technique to be a better surgeon, but I'm also trying to constantly refine myself in terms of how I teach my residents to do things so that they can understand it. You know, just like when we talk, you know, how I verbalize, all right, dude, if you want to do this sweep, this, your leg has to be here. You have to position your hips here. Your arm has to be here. And that's kind of the same thing when I do when I teach surgery. It's like, okay, make sure your arms are relaxed. Make sure your hand is here. Make sure when you're moving, you move it this way and you move everything in one motion. You don't, you know, nothing choppy. Make yeah. sure everything is always centered. So do you feel like there's like kind of a common baseline of how you like the process, if you will, Absolutely. for instructing? Absolutely. Because you teach martial arts as well. You mm-hmm. teach Brazilian jiu-jitsu at least once a week. Mm-hmm. And then also besides that, when we have other opportunities, you're a, you're a higher rank guy. So people are looking up to you. Mm-hmm. Like obviously you're being looked up to as the being in charge of the residents, but you're also being looked at in being in charge, not in charge all the time, but just somebody that's a higher rank has been doing this for a while and takes it very serious. So you feel like that's like, Hey, I basically apply the same rules. It is. It is the same setup for for both of these things. Cause one's really serious and Mm -hmm. the other, you know, hopefully you never have to use it, Mm -hmm. but it's, it's a, it could be very serious. You could really hurt somebody or, Get her. Yeah. Well, you know, like right? when we roll together, right? What is it always about? It's about a rhythm. It's about a flow. It's about a pattern. And that's kind of similar with surgery. When I, when I, when I teach, it's like it's about a rhythm. It's with breath. It's your it's your movement. Your movements aren't jerky. It's small movements. It's small adjustments. And that's like jujitsu. It's perfectly. That's exactly what jujitsu is. Mm-hmm. Jujitsu is about small adjustments. Trying to find the the space to go into so that you can get out of a tough situation. Surgery is no different.